Super sweet. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jake Renner, a winter expert here with uh, Curated.com. Today I got the opportunity to ride on the Atomic Bent Chetler 100s. I'm unaffiliated and unsponsored, so my feedback is unbiased. They're a good amount of ski, you know, this is for your more intermediate to advanced skier. They're 100 millimeter underfoot. It doesn't feel that wide underfoot and they do have tip and tail rocker. They're very conducive to powder. That being said, they're not as soft of a flex as some of the other powder skis, as some of your other wider skis with that tip and tail rocker. So these are kind of your all mountain senders. They'll stay stable underfoot. They'll stay damp underfoot. I mean, you can ride switch no problem. They feel good in air, feel well balanced. Like flex wise, they're well balanced throughout the ski. It doesn't feel like too soft in the tips or tails. It's actually like a much more firm ski than I thought. They have a really smooth edge to edge transition. It's easy to get up on edge. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that these were 100 underfoot if I were just skiing them based on how they move. Now, these things grip and just like you accelerate in your carve. So when you're carving, holding that edge, you're just digging deeper and deeper. And that's what these skis are for. Brought them into the trees, brought them on the bumps. Oh, they felt really good on the moguls. Surprisingly, like really easy to move. I think that's due to the dampness. Like they're, they're really damp, there's no chatter. And so when you get in that bump field, it's like, yeah, they're 100 underfoot, but you're still moving them in that zipper line. Like, no, no problem. I'm kind of baffled by like how these are so damp. I don't get it. Super fun ski. It not only skis great, but it does look cool. So that's just always bonus points. This, this ski has great camber underfoot. You know, so we spent some time on the groomers looking for the zones to really test this ski. You know, if you can get to some open glades and really pick up some speed and lay some turns through some trees, uh, this is gonna be something that you're gonna be smiling ear to ear on in the trees. If you're at a resort and you gotta jam a long groomer run to get to a, a cool tree zone, you're not gonna have any problem. It's not like those skis that have no camber. You got plenty of camber underfoot. You could go in the park with these. It's just not the best ski. I feel like park skis are a little, uh, a little more flexy, these are pretty stiff. Not too stiff by any means though, like proper flex pattern, you know, all the way tip through tail. If you were looking for a ski that you wanna grow with, you know, get this one and you're not gonna have to get a new ski once you get better and start skiing faster. This would be a great ski to have forever. I guess beginners who want a softer ski, a little bit more forgiving, uh, don't get these. Well, this is gonna be your intermediate to advanced, kind of freestyle, a little bit of freestyle flair to an all mountain ski. Um, that being said, it's not as soft as a lot of the other freestyle kind of all mountain skis. So this is going to be really conducive if you're a little bit heavier, a little bit larger. And this flex will feel like very smooth. Um, if you're lighter, you know, less than 150 pounds, this flex might feel a little bit stiff, but everyone's different. I would definitely say if you're a beginner skier and you're planning on progressing to become, you know, an intermediate to expert, this would be a great option where you wouldn't have to buy another ski, you know, but definitely intermediate to advanced. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. If you like the skis that you see, come on to our website and we'll get you set up.